Hello everyone. Uh, in the previous session, we had seen something called as uh, versioning problem of the uh, .NET, and also we had seen uh, side by side execution. Uh, we had seen uh, how we had saved uh, a DLL of 1.0.0.0 in GAC folder, and also we had saved another version of the same DLL that is 2.0.0.0 in the GAC folder, and they are running side by side. So that is the side by side execution. In this session, we will see something called as DLL hell problem. Uh, which can be seen as like we have application 1 and application 2 in the same project <coughs> and we have shared.dll that is shared in between application 1 and application 2 now the thing is now let's say over a time being application 2 uh, somehow we can say it updates or download a newer version of the application which uh, uh, which explicitly overwritten this shared.dll Okay, and uh, let's assume this share.dll it's not backward compatible. Okay, so it, it, it cannot go back or backward compatible, it is not supported. So, the thing is, what will happen when you compile and execute uh, these application? Application 2 works very fine, but the thing is, application 1 will not work fine. It'll give me some error or exception. We'll see this whole scenario of DLL hell problem uh, in Visual Studio. <coughs> So I I'm, I'm ready with my application one and application two, uh, but I need to add this share dot dll. So let's create or let's add this dll file by going to add new project and I'll call this as in my dll. The code will be uh, the same that we had seen in the previous sessions. So I go to my class uh, I mean the dll file. I'll create one method that is public string method and uh, inside that I'll just return something like uh, this is from my DLL okay and then I just I just need to add this DLL to my both these application application 1 and application 2 and that is the requirement here you can see so this is shared actually so we need to share it so I go to application 1 and I referenced it add reference and select your DLL and add it <coughs> okay so my DLL is added in the reference folder now I just need to change the code so I first import this DLL using my DLL and then I will uh, create the object of the class so class 1 obj equals to new class 1 and then I'll just fetch that method console dot right line uh, inside this object the and method and then I just need a console dot read key or read line just to hold this output screen uh, so this application one is ready now I need to add or add a reference to my application two so I'm go to application two reference and I add the same DLL my DLL and hit OK. It's added to application 2 too. Okay, now I'll change the code. The same code is going to be here using my DLL. And just for the sake of this time constraint, I copy this code because this is the same code I need to use. So I paste it. Okay, so everything is ready here. I build my solution and I go to individual uh, folders go to open folder is it folders in Windows Explorer and uh, I have this simple folder here I just need to copy and paste those uh, two exe and one DLL so I go to application one debug this is my first application and then I go to application two folder bin debug I just drag and drop I need last part that is my DLL then debug and this is my DLL so everything is ready my application 1 is here application 2 is here and this is shared.dll so if I run application 1 you can see this is working very nicely this is from my DLL uh, and let's go and run this application 2 this is also works fine now what happened the situation or the the, the case we had seen that application 2 changes or overrides this share.dll 
So let's change this thing and let's change the methods here. So first I go to my DLL class1.cs and let's change this method to uh, method1. Okay. And now I build this and now I need to update this DLL in my application 2. So first I'll delete this DLL file and I again referenced it my DLL. So now this is the updated DLL inside the reference folder. And again I go to program.cs and let's change this method to method 1 because we had include this updated DLL inside the reference folder. So application 2 definitely works very fine because we update it. So this is build. And now I go to my and I'm not touching application 1 because it needs to be like you know separated from this application 2 and DLL. So just for the to explain that complete uh, the case this one uh, we are not touching application 1. So let's go to in individual folders again open folders and again paste it into the sample folder and uh, I go to this okay here it is and let's delete this older versions delete it go to application 1 bin debug just copy it again get back to application 2 bin debug drag it and my DLL that is the last version and just drag and drop okay now let's say application 2 works fine or not so this is working fine now let's check this application 1.exe works fine or not as you can see this is a problem here so what it says it is unhandled exception system dot missing method exception so you can see this this application it's it's uh, there is some missing thing here so what is the missing thing is method not found so you can see here if we go back to our visual studio and if we see here object dot method this is the old older one okay so class one dot cs right now it is having method one but this application one it needs a method so you can see the error here where is it okay let me run again you can see it needs my dll class one dot method not the method one so there is a problem of uh, missing method and it is method not found so this is basically dll help problem and we will see this uh, the the solution to this problem dll help problem in my next session i hope you understand it